Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Tran, and welcome to another episode of Miss Pilgrim's Classroom. Today, we are going to discuss about Kami Extension Tutorial. But before that, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe. There you are. Today, we're going to discuss about Kami Extension Tutorial. There are three things that you need. The Google Drive, the Kami Extension, and the Google Classroom. If you love giving your students paper worksheet and you want to do it online and you want to check it online, this Kami Extension is best for you. Okay, first thing that you need to do is to type in your search engine, Kami Extension, PDF, and document annotation or just Kami extension. So how are you going to know if you have that Kami extension? Since I already have it added on my uh, extension, this says remove from Chrome. So how to make sure that you have already Kami extension? So you have to make sure that you have this purple letter K in this bar, all right? now. Kami extension best work with PDF, okay? So, but if you have like a worksheet in Google Docs, you can just simply convert that to a PDF by click print, and then instead of the destination, save as PDF. Or if you have a Google slide, you can also do the same thing. Click print. Dun, 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 dun. And like what I said, just do the same thing. Instead of send to printer, save as PDF. Now let us try to assign Kami assignment to your Google Classroom. So you go to your classwork, hit create, Kami assignment, then you will see this one, assign the assignment to your class. I will choose tutorial class, okay? And then I will type energy. The point is 100, you can assign due date and scheduled time, or you can also put topic, but I will not put topic. And you here, you will see a tick you can untick this one, check this one, or untick this one to send come instruction to students. But usually, I check this out so that if they don't have Kami ex extension, they do know or they will know how to add Kami extension in their computer. And then I will use my Google Drive. Okay. and then find the worksheet that I want to use. Make sure that it is in PDF. So this is the one I wanted to use. There you are. And you see here, make a copy for each student. This is recommended for you if you are going to use Scam extension. Why? So that they can answer the worksheet on their own they have their own copy okay and then you can put instructions if you want and then assign all right okay and then we will see in classroom how does it work okay so if you assign this Remember, I checked the Kami instruction here, there you are. So this is the Kami instruction on how to add the extension to their Chrome. So you have here remote learning with Kami for students. So there you are. So this is the step-by-step. -step. If they don't understand this step-by-step, -step, there is a video link. All right, going back. So this is your energy transformation coloring. So you are going to see here the PDF file, all right? And then you will click this one, open with Kami.
Okay. So this is how Kami looks like. Okay, so what are the um, features of Kami? So first, let's see this one on the side. So you can have, click this select. You can choose this one, select or hand tool or select annotation. Okay, and then you have dictionary. You have text to speech. So meaning you can also Re, uh, they can also click this one to read the page, stop and change the voice and change the speed. Also mark up. So they can also highlight. So say for example, I will choose this pink. You can, they can choose uh, different colors, highlight this one, something like that. Or oh, I put underline or um, make this one box. Oops. There you are, or just highlight text like that. There you are. And also, you can put comments. Wait, let me remove that. Okay, so you can also put comment, text comment. So say, for example, this one, let's say, very good. Let's say you are a student, okay? I mean the teacher. And then you can also put voice comments. You can record yourself like that. And you can also video uh, video yourself and also screen capture. Also, we have text box in here. You can leave a note for the student. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, good job. <laughs> You can, there you are, Ta -da! something like that. And then you can put equation, all right? And then you can do drawing. So let's say this one. Okay, let's say color red, something like this. You can put change the stroke, you know, something like that. And you can put add shapes, something like that. And then you have the here eraser, and then you can put image, all right? And then you can put signature also. So what the teacher can do is the student can do also. So you, the student will see the same thing, okay? So let you are like sharing in one document, teacher and the student. And also it automatically saves to your Google Drive. That's the best part. And you can also download it, all right? And you can print it. So there you are, guys. I hope you learned something today, and I hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye.